It's another opening video with Mike, and I haven't looked at my delivery notifications. I do have a suspicion I know what this is, um, only because I spoke to the seller and they mentioned that they would be sending multiple packages for my order. So I think this is the first of a few. Yeah. So let me tell you what this is. This is a vintage comic book trading card set from a time when I was heavy into collecting superhero trading cards and I had no idea that this set even existed. It's a big lot that I purchased on eBay at a very good price, very reasonable, but I've been trying to track these down at an affordable price for a while. This isn't a complete set. They are loose doubles, but I bought a number of them and I'm hoping it's gonna get me most of the way to the set so that I can just get a few other singles from other retailers and um, put them together. So this is called DC Legends 95, and it's an all chrome metallic trading card set of DC superheroes. And I thought I had owned all of the DC superhero trading card sets that had existed in the early 90s. And I, I, I swear, I don't know if it's a weird thing. When I visit the States, you guys still have a pretty strong trading card industry. As a kid in Canada in the 80s and 90s, they made trading cards out of everything. And most of them were produced in the States, but trading cards were big enough that there were entire stores dedicated to them. Now, if you live in the States, you're like, yeah, there's trading card stores. Okay, but there aren't any more in Canada. You can't find a trading card store anywhere, even in major cities. If they have cards, it's only because it's a side brand. Like other than, I know of one store that just sells Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! But I mean, in the 80s and 90s, there was trading cards of everything. Anything you can imagine. And at some point, and I'm not quite sure why, we stopped getting them in Canada. Like, they, I had no idea that... Uh, Marvel Universe trading cards were continuing on an annual basis for a long time. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen them in Canada, but I discovered these things on eBay and I decided to track them down. So even today, those Marvel annual trading cards that people collect in the States that are available there, I have never seen anyone selling them in Canada ever. So I use eBay to track down these cards that I couldn't get before. And this is one of those sets. And just really interesting to see very cool. I will sort these and put them in numerical order. I'm going to start. See, there was a double there. This one was in that other stack. It's the same as this guy. Um, so there's definitely a few doubles in here, but I'm going to start putting together some sets and organizing them in uh, numerical order. But for now, I'm just going to add these to my personal collection and I'm going <laughs> to get some more. The card set, I believe, goes up to 100 and no, that's not it. I think it goes up to 90 but I've purchased over 150 loose doubles and I don't think they're going to make a whole set, but they will get me very close and I will have some loose ones. So the extra doubles I have that are loose will end up on eBay. And if you'd like to get some of those or get this whole set after I've completed it and gotten my enjoyment out of it, you can find that and many other things on my eBay page. Where can you find my eBay page? I'm so glad you asked. It is linked from my creative website where you can also find books that I've written fiction and nonfiction and soon I'll be putting up some of my older comics that I haven't been making available for a while but you can see the creative work I've done and there is a link from that page to my eBay page and that would be at mikegagno.ca and you will find the link in the description below Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you find this as cool as I do because I'm really excited to actually go through these and check them out. Um, and add them to my personal collection and eventually read them all, go through them all, sort them all because I'm a weirdo who likes to do that stuff. 
there are no sponsors for my videos because I love this stuff and that's, that's why I do it. So if you really want to help and support, just check out the eBay page. And if there's something there that you really dig that you want to make part of your collection or display in your home, that's the best way to help. Or just follow or just share or just word of mouth. Tell your friends, hey, this guy does these weird friggin' videos and maybe they'll check them out. Either way, thank you for watching and have a great day.